Our Suburban Projects, number 20. Frank, Sexton, and Hal. This offer is not his diary. Neither does it formalize sessions with a licensed therapist. I satisfy by sharing and having publicly available. Therefore, I have published to prepare for anticipated readers. I have never read Young Ann's writings. As diary, I would never do so on principle, regardless of import. As for older Ann, I also stand against posthumously divulged privacy rights without consent. Godlessness cites as irrelevant to my views. I know that compromised ethics instill apprehensiveness for future privacy considerations by others alive. Not serving any, surveying anyone to prove that. Months following this proclamation, I watched a documentary about Joseph Goebbels, only after realizing a likewise substantive corruption by diary theft, doubly nauseating my perceived ideal through blind ambition. My few principles fall further and land harder than most. A 72-hour old psychiatrist instantly concurred once I casually mentioned being hard on myself. I suspect the insightful ones call this out often. I even researched the category of voyeur on porn sites before. Next stop, research euphemism. While also rethinking the Ambition Birds author Sexton, I recalled Bogart's last whimper, a Billy Wilder slime bang with debonair lost weekday Bill the Drunk and Muffin Audrey, a McThrowup, Fabergé turd a la carte. I find it amazing to consider that Anne followed Audrey. Life cry imitates mimicry? Oh, the film. Sabrina, do skip it. Suicide deserves realism. Keep reading.